What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and um So what actually happened was as you see we are still undefeated. What actually happened was I Done this I um What's it called? Prepared for the fight, uh, trained as always And halfway through the first round the game crashed uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, and then obviously out of a fit of rage, I made sure that I hadn't taken a loss or anything, and that I hadn't been set back to like 40 and 1 or something. So I, I, I checked, that I deleted the footage and obviously the recording, because I was like, there's no point, and I forgot that obviously it does all, I have to, uh, I forgot about like all the intro I done and training and stuff. It's a bit of a pain, but you know, it is what it is. Um, sometimes shit just happens, and you can't help it, but... Uh, yeah, we still can't upgrade. Um, I don't know if I've, oh, I don't know if I've um, edited my shorts or not. I'll have to check. Um, but yeah, I still can't do any upgrades. We're 92 overall, which is still good. Um, I'll have a quick check on my shorts just to see. Because what did we wear last episode? I'm pretty sure last episode we wore, if I can find it, episode 46. We wore the purple and white. It was like more of a pinky purple, but still. So let's have a little look. We're back in a sec. All right, yeah. Uh, the short saved from what I did change. Let's have a little look at the fight preview. A bit more in-depth. So this video is not two minutes long. Um, 83 overall. Alan Scott, this is the guy we wanted to fight because he was 83 overall. One of the highest overalls we actually could have opponent-wise. Uh, ranked number five in the uh, middleweight division. That's the reason we couldn't fight him beforehand because they were only giving us top three and top four. But they gave us top five this time, so we went with Alan Scott. He's had 37 wins. All 37 wins coming by way of knockout. He's had 13 losses. All 13 losses coming by way of knockout or TKO. We hold greatness over him in every way. His jab is at a one. Uh, and other than that, we, we share the right hook body at level 11 other than that we are statistically better and he holds a 98 strength so he is he truly is the definition of a real fucking power puncher um so yeah i'm looking forward to this one hopefully it will be a good one um we're not far off retiring now retirement is just around the corner uh, i'm hoping to get a few more fights in against people that are not jake lamar and things like that so let's jump into this one this could be our shortest video we've ever done on fight night just because of the fact that we missed all the training uh but yeah i'm, I'm excited for this one uh hopefully you know his strength comes in and uh yeah we're gonna m remember though we are andrew young here we're not drew washington so we're gonna focus on head movement jab work body work not just ruthless hooks uppercuts not care about getting hit that's how Drew Washington fights. Andrew Young fights like a guy that doesn't want to get knocked out. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, with a much-anticipated world championship on the line tonight. 12 rounds, middleweights going at it. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Young's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch Let's them do up. this. From the moment they signed the contract to the weigh-in yesterday, 
it's been nothing but tough talk. Good now job. we are underway, round number one. The talk is in the rearview mirror. The electricity is pumping, and it's time to fight. And the fun begins for us. Nice block by Scott. Good it's almost like they know I'm just a lethal counter punch them. They don't ever want to swing on me. Huh? What's up with it? What does the orthodox fighter have to be conscious of of guarding against that right hook from the southpaw? I mean, he's got his left hand off, out man. there, but a non-traditional defensive structure for him being set up like that. Yeah, absolutely. He has to remember that that punch will come from that angle, and usually he has no danger coming from that angle. So he has to make sure when he jams, that shoulder is up against his chin. So if the hook does come, it hits the shoulder. Ready, this one's going to get him. Shh, 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 shh. I think I thought the one twos would There's get him. The old one two. He's gonna move like that. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Scott, Just the two by itself. Yeah. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Just the two by itself is enough. Just didn't even need to beam the jab first. Just the two right down the fucking center. All right, well done. But what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Young's the victim of a powerful hook. Punch and move. Punch and move. That was Noli. Straight right hand. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination of there. All right. Now see, this, this is the plan. If he nice slips block. the two, that hook comes. That hook was well off the mark. All right. Good first round. Nice work on the outside. Put up. Scott's fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Young's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Tried the hook, didn't get it. How about that left hand? Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Scott's feeling the effects now of that hook. Oh, he dodges that hook so well. You damn bitch. Young's the kind of boxer that wants to do just Bang! Solid. Fucking hell, that was perfect. That was the cleanest right hook I've ever landed. Is he gonna get up? I doubt it. Scott's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Nice block by Scott. And he sidestep. Sidestep, body shot. Goes up top again. What a big shot. Unbelievable. Was that not flawless? Went with the left, left, right. That sidestep body shot was fucking vicious. It's over, bro. He's not getting up from that. You don't get up from a slip body shot and then four or five shots to the head. It's fucked. Okay. Another great victory for the series. your winner here tonight and still the belt holder did everything that you would ask for a fighter to do that one power shot i landed it was just that bah. that's nasty that was insane i don't have two in total out of five but just that one of one in the second round of clean all right 46 and one we have Five more fights to go. Yeah, five more fights to go. Does that sound about right? Pretty sure that sounds about right. Because we need to be 51 wins is what we need. We need 51 wins.
So it's looking good. Um, really not much else we can do at this point. We just kind of need to just wait and see, I suppose. I, I don't really want to fight him again. So I'll probably fight Bob Peters. See what he's all about. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Um, I mean, I'm more excited for the series to be over now. Uh, you know, we've had a hell of a time playing. The series and the support has been insane. But I think Andrew Young needs to needs to retire now. Like, he's only 32, so he's definitely got a few more years in him. And he's going to get these last five fights in. Uh, and then... And then we're not going to be signing any more contracts. We are going to retire at 51 wins, I think. I think that's the plan. Um, unfortunately, we are still only number four in the pound for pound rankings. A little bit frustrating, especially as we've beat, we've beat him. At least we overtook Reggie Bailey. It's about time, really. Um, but yeah, so hopefully everything will sort itself out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, catch you all in the next one. Peace.